Here in Amiz Miz, about 40 kilometers from the Moroccan earthquakes epicenter, we're in one of the camps for the international contingent that are here to help. The UK, Spain, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates all have a presence in Morocco of several dozen each, working in small teams with dogs and sound detectors to try and find survivors. Now, a representative from the British contingent told us that there is a difference in construction to what has been seen elsewhere, with traditional mud bricks leaving what he called not the right survivable void. That's not leaving enough air pockets where people can survive under the debris. Even so, the teams are here to do a job and told us there is always hope. He also told us that he was grateful for the UK's close ties to Morocco that have allowed them to get into the field relatively quickly. Not so, though, for other nations that have offered aid. Morocco seems to want to assess each on a case-by-case -case basis, maintaining its own control of coordination efforts. And while it has vowed to rebuild, rising frustration with the slow pace of rescue efforts seems to indicate it will have to rebuild trust with its people too, and not just their homes.